I would say the difference between velocity and speed is speed is just when you're going. So everything has like a speed, but velocity is the actual increase in speed. The difference between speed and velocity, I think the best way I could put that in terms you would understand would be speed is awesome, Rose Wag. Velocity, not awesome, Wally. So when you think of speed and velocity, think of speed, awesome, Rose Wag. Velocity, not awesome, Wally. Okay, speed and velocity seem similar to me, but I think, if I remember back to physics days, that speed has something to do more with time. Velocity might have something to do with measuring how far? Um, I would say that the speed is how fast something is going and the velocity is the force that makes it go faster. So the difference between velocity and speed. Um, speed is how quickly you get from one point to another uh, and velocity is something to do with Gravity, so speed is time and velocity is maybe energy or, or something like that? Speed and velocity are kind of the same thing. They relate to each other and they're kind of interchangeable. Well, what the, question, the difference between speed and velocity? I honestly am not quite sure. I know that there's a difference between them, but I use them interchangeably and I'm not sure. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Speed and Velocity. Before we talk about Speed and Velocity, we need to talk about this thing called Frame of Reference. Now, for Frame of Reference, we need two points, point A and point B. Um, and these are just two random points that distinguish uh, what is happening at either one of these points. Okay. Now, a good picture to look at is the one right there on your screen. Um, this is a picture of a bus that is moving very fast. Now, according to your frame of reference, it looks like the people that are inside of the bus aren't moving at all. But if you were to step outside, the bus is moving extremely fast. So if you're inside of the bus, it doesn't seem like you're moving, but if you're looking outside of the bus, it looks like you are moving. And both are correct, meaning both are a correct frame of reference. Another good example is if you're driving at 55 miles per hour and there's this fly just hovering right in front of your face. Technically, it's hovering, so it's not really moving anywhere, but at the same time, it's in your car, so it's also moving at 55 miles per hour. You could say that that fly is blazingly fast. Speed is a distance traveled by a moving object over a period of time. That is the very basic definition of speed. And in fact, that is our equation. Okay. Um, now, the graph below and the infographic below shows you um, the general direction of the two cars that are moving. One is moving at a slower constant speed, and the other one is showing you um, a car that is moving at a faster constant speed. Okay. Constant speed means that equal distances are covered in an equal amount of time. Now, here are the different speed equations that we can use. Speed is equal to distance over time. Time is equal to distance over speed. And distance is equal to speed times time. The last two equations came from the first equation. All we did was move the variables around. Now, velocity is speed in a given direction. And if you look above um, the cheetah's head, you can see this arrow. Now remember, whenever there is something with direction, that means that it is a vector. Okay? Below you can see the equation for velocity. It's position over time or displacement over time. Okay? Average velocity is equal to displacement over some time interval. That means some amount of time must have passed. So... Instantaneous velocity, however, is a velocity that something has at any one instance. Our equation here shows that the vector velocity is displacement over a time interval. Remember that triangle means delta or change in. Um, and also, that little 
dash above the V. Sometimes it's a dash, sometimes it's an arrow, sometimes the V will be bolded. That means that it's a vector. That means it requires a direction. So when we do these problems, you must always state which way is positive. For yellow, positive is right, green positive left, positive direction is up for blue, and positive direction is down for the orange box there. Okay, And you must actually write that out when you're answering a problem. You, the audience needs to know which way is positive. Like every time. Yes, every single time you must let them know which way is positive. Okay? Directions result in a velocity that can have a negative direction, however. Negative direction just simply means you're going opposite of what you stated as the positive direction. For example, if you state that the positive direction is to the left, uh, anything that is moving towards the right is then considered to be negative. Here are a couple of key points that you need to realize. Right? The average velocity for a trip might be 53 miles per hour, but however, during this entire trip, you could be speeding or you could have been completely stopped. So your instantaneous speed might be zero or it might be 70, but over the grand scheme of things, the average average, 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 would equal to 53 miles per hour. Okay. Now, here's a good way to remember the difference between speed and velocity. Ah, this beautiful picture here. We have a couple of velociraptors drinking tea. And the female goes, How rude of this little girl to crash our tea party. And goes, I do concur. She should head in the other direction. Now, I put direction in all caps because velocity requires a direction. Okay? Um, speed, on the other hand, doesn't require direction. A good example will be a speedometer. There's the word speed in speedometer. Uh, speedometers, or speedometer, they can't tell you where you're headed. There's no north, southwest, east, or any other direction. It just tells you how fast you're going. So when a cop pulls you over, they're not going to go, um, excuse me son, do you know why I pulled you over? And you're like, uh, oh, speeding? And then exactly, you're going 95 miles per hour north, sucker. They can't do that to you. I would say there's no difference between 6 meters per second or negative 6 meters per second. So which is faster, 6 meters per second or negative 6 meters per second? For this, I'm going to again use myself and Mr. Wally as the example. 6 meters per second is faster because that's how fast I can run. Whereas negative 6 meters per second would be like Mr. Wally's car. Very slow, out of date. Technically, I think they're both the same and you're trying to trick me. Uh, they're just going in different directions. So the negative would be going in reverse, but you're still going at the same speed. I think six meters per second is faster. Uh, I would say six meters per second is, I'm gonna go with equivalent to negative six meters per second because it's distance over time. And if it's the same, it should be the you know, math where you get the two lines, the absolute value, I imagine they're the same. Well, it's the same thing because you know, it doesn't really matter. You're going either forward or you're going backward or you're up or you're going down. It's the same thing. They're both the same. Negative 6 meters per second just means you're moving backwards. 6 meters per second just means you're moving forwards. Or negative 6 meters per second means you're moving down. And 6 meters per second means that you're moving up. So technically, they're both the same speed. To sum it all up, speed and direction. The only difference is that velocity has direction, speed does not. And that's what makes physics so beautiful. beautiful. That's what makes physics! It